seven o'clock. So, uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Kim. Uh, okay, I know you can't see that very well, but we're going to have to uh, to make do. I think the folks on Zoom probably have a much better view than uh, than anybody here. So, I'd like to welcome everybody to the meeting of the James River Camera Club, <laughs> and uh, we have see a couple new or semi new folks that are actually in the room. Uh, yep. So we have uh, Laura White, who's here. Uh, she's entered the last couple contests, uh, and she managed to make it tonight. And our, our guest is... Oh, it's Lisa for the first time. Uh, and online uh, in the meeting, we have, uh, see, it's Adam Brakeman, who's new. Brackman. Brackman, sorry, I apologize. Uh, and uh, Carrie DeJan's online and Kemp as well. I, I turned off my video because I've got really bad sun glare, sorry. You do, but uh, that's okay. Uh, so uh, welcome to everyone. So thank you all for coming. Uh, a, a good turnout tonight, which is which is uh, which is nice. Um, let me see. Oh, uh, Adam asked a question. Uh, uh, who do I send the twenty-five dollar membership fee to? That's Marie Vranas, V R A N A S. V R A N A S. Right. You can communicate communicate with her on the uh, meetup page. You send her a message, and and she'll give you the information on where you send that. Okay. So uh, as I say, welcome to everybody. Really appreciate the everybody turning out. Uh, so we have the new folks uh, and we'll do something a little bit. Has anybody done anything fascinating photography wise uh, since the last uh, last meeting? Uh, I did. Oh, Carrie, Carrie said uh, she did. So you want to? I am. Um, oh, it's okay. Marie Vranis. Okay. Yes. Vranis. V-R-A-N-A-S. And it's I, Marie. Yes. Marie. M-A-R-I. Okay, yeah. Okay. Carrie, go ahead. Um, I went down to Assateague, or up, I, I should say up, up to Assateague, and uh, got some really good pictures of uh, the ponies, and they had some... Um, they had some foals, so I was able to get some nice pictures of foals and everything. So that was a lot of fun. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Carrie. Anybody else uh, done anything uh, exciting photography-wise? We went to the uh, Peninsula Farmer's Market uh, this morning and took pictures of next month's subject. <laughs> so anyway. What's, what's next month's subject? Vegetables. Pardon? The theme is vegetables? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, uh, and uh, that's this weekend? Isn't that this weekend? Yeah. Uh, the, the, where is that? That's at uh, Langley? Yeah, Langley has an air show this weekend. And uh, the Thunderbirds are here. Not the ones from the movie Grease, but uh, the real Thunderbirds. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Uh, let's uh, let's get. We have a lot of photographs to go over tonight, so uh, so I want to thank everybody for uh, for participating in the uh, in the contest. So let me uh, bring this up full screen. All right. So this is our uh, our May event, our May contest, and so I want to thank everybody who. Uh, Took the time to uh, go out and photograph and uh, send me a uh, send me a picture. I really appreciate it. And so our uh, our theme this month was uh, strange signs. Uh, uh, am I hearing myself again? Okay. Uh, you want to share your screen there, Philip? Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh... Let me uh, go back out to the meetup. Okay, I'm sorry, Kim. And 
There we go. Can you see that, Kim? I can. Okay, very good. So uh, as I said, our theme was uh, Strange Signs, uh, which was, uh, I thought it was going to be trickier than it was. A lot, a lot of people came up with some good stuff. Yeah. Uh, so here's uh, our end. Wait a minute. Hey, hey Philip, you're, you're sharing the PowerPoint and not the, not the show. You're just showing this. Always, we see all the the different slides and everything. The actual PowerPoint and not the where you're showing it. Hey, hang on, Kim. Okay. I'll share the I'll share the desktop. How's that? And then I'll show it from here. How's that? Okay. Huh. Okay. Do you have everything or just uh hang on. There we go. Is that is that what you're looking for? That's good. All right. So uh these are our entries and uh these are the folks who sent them in. The first one was uh Tom Carmines, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, Tom's not here tonight, so we can't ask him for details on what, why he did what, but I think it's pretty obvious why he did that. And let's see. Next one is Marie. Where, Marie, where'd you find this? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, so you just uh, took the sign and then cropped it down? You just took the photograph of this and cropped it down? Okay. Oh, this one's mine. Uh, now, this one is, uh, it's on the corner of uh, Big, Bethel, uh, Big Bethel Road and Todd's Lane. And we were uh, on our way to another camera club meeting. And I saw this and I said, they have a drive through <laughs> drive through for, yeah. It just struck me as so funny. So uh, we had to go back and take the photograph of this one. And... Uh, I, I did, yes. Uh, and I'm not as nimble as I once was. Uh, and uh, in terms of doing this, I, I cropped it down a bit. There were whole power lines and, and all sorts of junk. And I cropped, cropped some of that out and took it out in, uh, in Photoshop. And then, uh, I don't know, I just thought the, uh, I did it black and white with like I had a green filter on it because I just felt like it. But uh, I thought it was kind of a cool, cool sign. Next, Carrie. Uh, this was in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Uh, I was in Pittsburgh. I was the uh, shooting the a national specialty, and uh, this was a great little diner that was across the street, you know, the ho from the hotel, and um, not exactly a sign, but I just made me smile, so I had to do it. It's actually <laughs> what they did with the doors. So oh, that's just, what that's what you see when you walk in and it just made me smile so <laughs> it's a good I one to, i like it i had to take a picture of it i thought that was a really great way to make the doors you know to, yeah to, so, all right yep okay. and the food was really good so you know what what was the restaurant by the way uh mm -hmm. park and eat or something like that park eaton uh, park yes it was in eaton park we're from Pittsburgh originally. That's a a, so, a local place. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was yeah. great. I, I enjoyed it. All right. Next, our new one of our new members, Kaylee. Is this uh, where was this taken? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. 
next, John, John Murphy. Is this Richmond? Yeah. Does this uh, crop down or is this? Mm, okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And so this is old time and crow perch. I like that. And it, uh, what'd you take? Was this your A74 or your Nikon? Okay. It was just before I sold that. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, and the next one is Maury. I love it. There typically has a catchy sign. So their sign right now says, Your pets will love or dance. The shit soon not. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good one though. So now did you when the minute you saw the, the theme, did you know this is where you were gonna go? Did you look into that uh, KEH for the uh, for the used cameras? Okay, good. Yeah, uh, but if you do need like pieces and parts, uh, they're used. And I, uh, I was saying I bought as a walk around camera uh, a Sony A sixty four hundred, which is a small crop sensor camera, and uh, B and or KEH listed it as. Uh, it was just excellent condition, not they're like new and then excellent plus and it was down that line. It looked like it just came off the assembly line. It was perfect, you know, just absolutely perfect. So uh, I, uh, I was a little worried when I bought it, but it, came, it was beautiful when it came in. And you get some good deals, like an A7 on 4A, mm -hmm. 556. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next, Laura White. Now, before we, before I ask Laura White about this, I, uh, as the photo contest chair, uh, I have to say, when I first saw this, I said to myself, "Oh my God, she submitted an open." Uh, category as a theme and then all of a sudden I looked at the title that she gave it and it's 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 like that I thought it was a frisbee and then it hit me you know uh, then all of a sudden I got it and and I just have to say this this one is one of the most creative and well photographed themes that we got so whatever you want to say about it, it, it I, I'm enthralled by it So that's all natural light. Yeah. Mm. It, it's it's a fabulous, fabulous picture. I'm, I'm really, really amazed at it. So thank thank you very much for submitting. And that, 
let it be a uh, inspiration to us all to think outside the box. Uh, anybody else have any thoughts on this though? Took a long, took me a minute to get it as well. <laughs> I realize that, but probably. Yeah. Make us think. That's that's good. I like that. Uh, next, a Chan. Who? Uh, yes. This is the. Uh, <laughs> Unless he had, it. he was sitting there on a horse. But who goes to visit about it, mind and God, they all want to take a photo of someone else. So the Dabo Indians are trying to make a photo. Yeah. So, you know, there was nothing fancy about this, obviously. Right? So, you know, I had to use all the high end stuff to get the set photos so I could get the sign and the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, friends of, yeah, friends of ours took the, yeah, no squirrels this time. So we're all stunned. No <laughs> Yeah. 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 Friends of ours took the Laro, yeah, that Laro uh, the photography tour. I don't know if you're familiar with that. He does, you know, uh, destination photography trips. I'm, I'm doing one in the uh, Outer Banks to do lighthouses uh, at uh, the end of the month. But, uh, uh, they have the shots of the the cowboy. They have a cowboy and also an Indian that'll do the horse thing. They have two. two they have two or three different pose people posers that'll do that. So I, I knew immediately where you were, and and so did Tom. <laughs> he just didn't have the cowboy. <laughs> okay. Let's see next. Phyllis, who uh, has company this week, but uh, uh, talk to her about it. This is from her trip to Ireland. Uh, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, uh, Phyllis is very, very involved in the uh, uh, Sister Cities program for Newport News. She's been doing that for, uh, Tom, how many years has she been doing that Sister Cities thing? About 15, 20 years or something? What's that, Marie? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, right. uh, but, yeah, but uh, she, uh, they, they have uh, established a uh, another sister city with the city in Ireland, and, and I'm sorry, I forget the name of it, but uh, uh, there's some uh, tie with the, uh, the maritime industry there and in Newport News, and the city they were in was the last stop of the Titanic before it left. Uh, uh, left that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this was uh, Phyllis's. This was Steve's. Signs. <laughs> And this was the one that kind of stuck out to me as what in the world. <laughs> That's what I titled it. Yes, say what? It's just it's, the signs were all together there. And I was like, what is this mean? <laughs> so I, I like to do a little blur of the background and shot. And that's basically it. Okay. 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 <laughs> 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 And this one is uh, Leah Columbus. You know, I'm used to men and women. I'm used to boys and girls. Daddy and Billy were a big. So on my second trip, I took my hair for a week. I can't stop my mother with this picture. Exactly. Yeah, and it, tell, it tells you there that it tells you if you're eaten by a goat, you're in a <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, this, one of the signs, I took a picture of a sign there. I was going to enter it. I don't know if any of you know, this is, this is a public service announcement from your club president. But 
evidently there is an actual law in Virginia that if you are injured or killed at an ag agro-tourism location, like the winery, the basic rule of law is it's your own damn fault. <laughs> and they're not liable. If an animal stomps you to death, it's just, you know, the price of agro-tourism. So beware, you know, just keep that in mind. But there's an actual sign there with the Virginia Penal Code that if, if you die there, it's your own fault. It, well, it, it, the, the sign was amusing, you know, the, the outcome would have been a great winery. And so the results, honorable mention, uh, Mari, and, and that's the other thing, we have enough, had enough entries this month that we have an honorable mention. So congratulations, Mari. Yeah. Third place was Carrie with the Eaton Park cookie. You're getting a round of applause, Carrie. Thank you. Second place, Chan. Even though there's no squirrels. Wait a minute. Wait, if you look close. No, just kidding. <laughs> and the winner, John. Huh. I kind of thought the tea leaves would do. Yeah. And, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say this, but it wasn't close. <laughs> All my emails said it was a close and you have to no he he won it in the first three days of voting so but uh, well this is a I mean that's that's a that it's a fascinating shot and it's w really well done yeah yeah mm-hmm That, right. that Indian is Cincinnati, is the name of that Indian. Ah, did, did you hear that? Did, I know that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next we'll go through our opens. First is uh, Marie's Marie Branis's photo. And uh, where was this, Marie? <laughs> It's in, oh, it's in Kerala. Okay. Okay. Anything, uh, did, were you down there for a, for a reason or just, just to take pictures? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're very well done. Thank you. Any other thoughts, suggestions, comments? Yeah. Next, <gasps> this looks familiar, Tom. <laughs> where, where, where was this? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, nicely done. And given the conditions, you know, yeah. This was an, another one from Phyllis's trip. If you, any of you follow her on uh, Facebook, she posted uh, a whole slew of photographs that she took at the St. Patrick's Day parades uh, that she went to and uh, they stopped at a pub. So she had another one, a similar photograph in her uh, Facebook page. But I thought this was, I thought this was well, well composed for just a- It's hard to do that. Like, three people like that, it's hard to do that. Yeah. And next, Mari. Yeah. <laughs> but 
Is that your yeah? Is that your neighbor or just a? So if you don't go, one thing about Smithfield, you know, I was like That's a photographer story for you. Well, you know, you, you really realize how hard it is to play the saxophone on a black bass. Yeah. <laughs> so, and how, did do you have a did you use the flash to get him? I did use a flash to make that. Yeah. And, and so the flash wasn't the light from the flash wasn't enough to yeah. light it. And see, I have my camera set for for you to shoot. Mm. And the whole time I'm sitting with messing with my camera, I'm like, you know, I'll look up at these guys and be like my face. <laughs> but I, I'm serious. I mean, he if he could have probably taken I mean, if he, I, I don't even see it, but I mean he's he's no more he's no more than maybe ten feet away from mm. yeah, Yep. But <laughs> all right. And if he wasn't happy with the photograph, yeah, it could, it could have been bad news for you. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Next, Chan. I like and like the the way it's uh, the way it's composed with uh, you know the birds looking off into the distance and you gave him room to look that that that's nice I like that. Alligator Park, Alligator Park in St. Augustine. For those of you that are interested in uh, sending sending your wife uh, into an alley full of alligators. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. Next, Laura. Oh. Now, did did you shoot it that way with the blurred background, or was that processed? No, I shot it that. Way. Okay. It was actually very vibrant, but I had to tone it down. That was oh, just with the lighting was very vibrant. Wow, that's unusual. Most people have to crank it up a little bit. That's that's really cool. And uh, where, what gardens was it again? Okay. Okay. Any comments or thoughts? Yeah. Actually, it's a fifty. Yeah. Well, what what camera do you shoot? Having fifty digits for all. Okay. Next is Kaylee Talbert. What do you want? Can you tell us a little bit about it? All right. Any thoughts on this? Yeah. And it's all shot like before. I mean, it was she's she's really developing for that shot like before. It lights up the nose and then Oh my God. Oh, kind of got right down. You know, you know, there's a problem with the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good technique to get down low with the subject. I, with my uh, my daughter, does a lot of uh, iPhone photography with uh, her son, who's three. And I was telling her uh, she shot a whole bunch of photographs, and I said, you know, when you're shooting children, you don't want them to look like they're distorted and always looking up. So you know, take the phone down to his level and take the photographs. And she started doing that, and the photographs got better. Uh, but he's a sneaky little thing. I was doing it with my camera one day, took it, put it down to take his photograph. And he, he's cr he crouched, <laughs> crouched down along with me and I couldn't get any lower than he was. So <laughs> they're, they're sneaky little devils. Okay. Next is Steve. Yeah, good morning. We, we were the snow one driving around. I didn't like the fact that the car was in the shop, but no matter what we, there was another car parked in the parking lot watching us from really being able to get a nice shot of view. And this bird was bathing itself and just having a good old time. And so I, I made sure my shutter speed was fast enough to capture the action and hmm. the exposure was correct. And I, the only thing I did to the shot really in post was blur the license plate. Oh. I just blurred it up. Okay. And Really? Yeah. Yeah, there's a, that spot in Langley that always has a problem. So <laughs> I actually try to, I'll bring my light out at night and we'll, I'll put something on the opposite side of the puddle so we'll get a reflection. And uh, I love that little spot. But there just happened to be a car park there. Another car park, park while the guy was doing something with his phone, so there was no way to have a shot without a car being parked there. So. Hmm. Okay. Next, ah, this is an iPhone shot. Uh, we went to the Torgler Gallery and they had the Picasso exhibit. And as part of that, uh, this is a uh, work by another uh, painter in uh, the Cuba style uh, named uh, I think it was Russ Warren, I believe his name was. And so what I did was I went right up next to the wall and just shot down the wall because I, with the black walls and the, and the black at the other end, I just wanted the color to stand out. 
And so in post, I darkened everything, but I highlight, I brushed a little bit of extra exposure onto the, to the paintings so that they would jump off the wall. But I, I, when I saw that, I, I just thought, because uh, uh, we had talked about abstract photography at, uh, at another location, and I said, you know, I'm taking abstract kind of photographs or an abstract photograph of abstract painting. So it's abstract squared, I guess. Any, uh, anybody have any? Okay, next is John. It was lucky guess, Steve. Lucky guess. It's, uh, oh. no. with different colors of paint on it, it's trying for both, and that it's just the shape you get. It's a one beat of one that you can't repeat it because that was. <laughs> Everything shows up on it, so really the doctor is a shot with a trick. Uh, really it's like shooting on a mirror. And everything is messy. Mm -hmm. You get it off completely clean. You know, it's right on. You have to say, hello, hi. <laughs> yep. And you can see all your streaks. And you see yellow. Mm. But you can see the white and the red. Mm. And that shape is that <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. Beautiful shot. So when you shoot that, you're using, I'm assuming you're using some kind of remote oh, yeah. action as well as oh. oh, monster for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people here are sitting on the radio TV. Mm -hmm. it's, this is just a same. <laughs> Leah said it had its own zip code. This is just a single drop. Mm -hmm. White stains, creams, water, all the white stains. So we thickened up to give you the same screen. Yeah. So it doesn't uh, clog them all. But you can get otherwise keep the mixture of green and skin build the same okay. thing. The only problem is this cream, it's cream, just like it does in real life, hardens up and you will actually close your nozzle down. Going from a big opening, say three inches, to all of a sudden you can decide to put it in. All right, well, very good, John. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, next is Leah Columbus. He went to um, the military team station. And it's all reenacted with all different um, types of cameras. So you went from like lighting next to people that were Civil War reenactors to World War One. It was really fascinating. But a lot of the the encampments had food set up, and I was fascinated with the different tables and the different types of food cooking uh, implements that they had. And this was one of the medieval. Um, reenacting groups, they just they had a meal set, and after everything was out, then the people sat down and ate it. So we stay in their box 
It's a little surreal, but I just thought that the, the food sitting there with the all of the uh, feeling was made a nice picture. And we cropped a bit and uh, softened the colors a little bit, but it was it was a good a good day. So a lot of good pictures out. Mm -hmm. And Leah's learning to process her own photo. So a round of applause. This is a yay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next is Carrie. So you had a wild, you had a wild Carrie. <laughs> um, this is a little bit of an older photo, but I, I I wanted to share it with everybody. Um this was an interesting opportunity I'd had. Uh, I was asked to shoot a wakeboarding competition. And I had just gotten the, uh, my X-T2. And so I asked this, this gentleman's a friend of mine. I asked him, I said, would you go out with me the night before so I could make sure I had all the right settings and timing and, and you know, just kind of work out all the kinks before I'm actually, you know, taking pictures of, mm. you know, the competition when you only have one chance at it. And it was at night, it was in the evening as, as sun was setting and we had turned around and he ended up being back, backlit. And when I was looking at it, I just, to me, there was no question that it had to be black and white because he was almost in complete shadow and the way the, the water on the line and the, the spray, I was just like, yeah, I gotta make this black and white. There was no question. So yeah. that's uh, that's how this came out. Beautiful shot, Carrie. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite photos of all time. <laughs> For me, the fact that he's back with Tully and Shadow, but the line going from him, I guess, to the boat. Yeah, it's it's wakeboarding, so that they they actually connected with the the um to the board that uh, to the boat. That's the, that's how they can get like do all the tricks in the air and everything. Really stood out. Yeah. yeah, beautiful shot. Thank you. He was he was a he was a good sport. <laughs> okay, so honorable mention, we have a tie. I'm yay yay yay. yay. <laughs> and next is Laura. Congratulations, Laura. Third place is. Carrie. Oh. Yeah. What was that? Second place is Tom. And first place. Oh, okay. uh, second place tie, rather. Second place tie. So it was Tom and Chan have a second place tie. And uh, there's a, a way to break ties in the rules, uh, but they still ended up tied after I went through all the rules. So so that I had to had to give them both. So I have to work on the rules. And first place, John. So congratulations. Uh, and uh, everybody did a great job. And uh, as your photo chairman, I really, really, really appreciate, uh, you know, uh, everybody participating. So next month, theme is vegetables. And important announcement, tomatoes or fruits. But, but since they don't go in a fruit salad, we'll accept them if you. <laughs> That's true. But. Uh, well, we're we're a botanical kind of club here, so we're. <laughs> but so we know that we know their fruits. But if you submit a photo uh, of a of a tomato, we'll accept it. Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. So in open, of course, is anything else. Entry deadline is the 25th of May. So good luck. Uh, get get your entries in. And uh, everybody knows that's the email address that you send them to. <clears throat> and that's it. So I'm going to stop sharing the, the screen. There we go. And we should be back. And can we hit the lights, uh, Kemp or Marie? Okay, let me uh, go over here and get my notes. Yeah, we can turn all the lights on at this point. Uh, 
yeah, no, normally we we do something uh, something of interest to uh, you know of photography and all that, but uh, we recently had a a, a board meeting. Uh, and the reason we had the board meeting was uh, for those of you that uh, are maybe not aware, but uh, Paul, uh, our former president, of course, had has had some health issues. And so uh, the club had been a little bit uh, rudderless. And uh, Phyllis had asked me to uh, sit in as president, which I did, which I accepted. And so rather than uh, just doing a palace coup, I decided to uh, uh, do it without burning down the Reichstag. So I had a board meeting uh, to confirm what we were going to do. So uh, we had a board meeting on Zoom uh, on April 20th. And uh, we had uh, myself, my wife, Leah, Mari, Kemp, and Tom uh, were uh, in the meeting. Uh, John uh, couldn't attend. Uh, John, Phyllis, and Marie uh, were invited but could not attend. Um, our bylaws require that we have a, a president, a vice president, secretary, a treasurer, and a photo contest chairperson as a minimum. And I'm the was the act was the uh, photo contest chairman, and Marie was treasurer. Those are the only two officers we really had. So uh, the board. Uh, as uh, assembled, uh, put together a series of appointments that we're going we're to run through the next election of the club. We are going to hold an election for officers this year. Uh, so I'm president uh, of the club. Uh, John has agreed to uh, serve as vice president uh, through the uh, through the end of this term. Uh, Leah, my wife, is going to be uh, secretary, which makes editing the minutes just lightning fast and we got airdrop working so it, 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 it's really quick uh, Maria is going to stay on as treasurer uh, probably as long as we we add, well maybe she'll give that up at some point if she wants uh, <laughs> okay <laughs> no he's you're going to hold it through the end of the year so we don't want to do it we don't want to do anything like uh, like wrong or anything uh, I'll stay on as photo contest chairman as well. Uh, and we, if, just for the time being, uh, Kemp, Mari, and Tom agreed to be uh, at-large members so that we can, you know, manage the things that need to be managed uh, while the club is uh, sort of putting its, putting itself back together. Um so uh, one of the other things we discussed were the programs that uh, the club is going to do. So uh, we, we were pretty fortunate. We've put together a series of programs through November. Uh, and so what we're going to do is uh, we have a series of speakers coming in uh, over that time. Uh, for those of you that know Ed Robinson, of the, he's a member of the Hampton Roads Digital Photography Club. He's a marvelous speaker. He's agreed to speak in November, I believe it is. Uh, Carrie had met a photographer up in, was it in New Jersey that she met? Uh, Raleigh. In Raleigh. In uh, Raleigh. He's going to give us, uh, it's a two events, two, two meeting event. He's going to give us a, a little discussion on editing photographs. And then he's going to give us an opportunity to edit our own photograph, send it to him, and he'll give us a critique on what we've done. So that's going to be in uh, July and August. And what we did, uh, uh, he's not available the week of the 4th. And most a lot of people here said they, were, they would not be available. So uh, I, I took my presidential hat and put it on. So I moved the July meeting to the 13th. And then we'll meet the whatever the first uh uh thursday in june is uh so if there to okay thank you very much i i didn't think about that but i appreciate that it's the it's the 13th, 13th. yeah yep yep so it'll be uh we'll his and it'll be on zoom 
So um, j just as a, a, a thought, does everybody want to just stay home and and uh, drink your beverage of choice and watch it on Zoom, or do you want to come in here? Um, g given the difficulty with the projector um, uh, during the summer months, that might it might be best to just sit at home and 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 watch it on Zoom. Is that does that make sense to everybody? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we'll we'll do it that way then. Oh yeah, yes. I was just about, <laughs> I was getting to that one. So we have uh, no, that's okay. He's still on there. He's good to go. So we have, uh, and then uh, uh, Le when Leah and I went to the Torgler Museum, they had uh, uh, students uh, from the photography department had an exhibition there. And I've spoken with the photography department and uh, I took it upon a, myself to invite a young photographer who's getting his degree in photography. He's from Tuano at uh, Christopher Newport, uh, who does macro insect photography. And he's agreed to come and speak to the club about uh, number one, the program, and number two, what he does. And so, I mean, we saw his work. He does just amazing, uh, amazing work. Uh, and he is excited. He's excited to speak at the club. So, so that, that was nice to hear. And I've also been in touch with uh, the head of the photography department to be the judge for our end of the year uh, contest this year. I haven't heard back from him yet, uh, but he has been invited. And I have to apologize to the club. Uh, it was my responsibility to do an end of the year uh, contest last year and I didn't. Uh, it was my mistake and I apologize for that, but uh, we will definitely fix that uh, this year. Uh, and anybody have any comments so far or questions? <coughs> anybody online have a question or comment? No. No. Okay. Um, this one's going to it, it's a it's a monetary thing, so I wanted to bring it up to the to the club. Uh, for our Zoom meetings, we've been using uh, Kemp's uh, Zoom account, uh, which I don't think is really fair. And and also, you know, Kemp likes to travel in his RV and uh, and be uh, outside of uh, normal communications range. And I think it would be worth our while to have a uh, a club Zoom uh, membership. And Tom, you you looked that up. It was what a hundred and $149 a year for a single uh, one user, but we can, we can use the, uh, the JRCC photos uh, email and pay for the, you know, it's still gonna be somebody yeah, and we can put it in mine or, or, or maybe somebody, Kaylee, she's young. We can put it in her names. It'll be around for a long time. Uh, but we'll figure out a way to, to do that and then have it pay, have it reimbursed. But I think there should be an, uh, an email and password that, uh, you know, a number of the club officers, because, you know, if we're traveling and there's going to be a meeting and we need Zoom and camps off, you know, at a campground somewhere uh, to, to be left high and dry like that, just we just can't do that, As, especially. Lee and I were talking about it. You look at all the clubs that these days are now doing hybrid meetings because people got used to the idea of, uh, oh, I can't make it tonight, but I can come in and, and watch the meeting on Zoom. Or, uh, you know, I'm on vacation, but I want to go to the meeting because I want to hear the speaker. You can, from anywhere in the world, you can you can go to a meeting. So uh, we, we think it's something that the club should do. To, uh, so I guess I'd... Uh, Put it forward. I have a motion that that you know that the the club, you know, establish a Zoom account and that the club pay for that. Um, I don't know about all. I think uh, if we do, if we do a hands-on uh, type of thing, uh, like uh, we talked. It... Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, well the the young the young guy from uh, from CNU is going to be here. Ed Robinson will actually physically be here. Um, and if we do a, if we do a like uh, we were I was talking with Mari, uh, you've got uh, flash photography equipment here that he does. Uh, you do the what is it? Baptism pictures. Uh, you know, th there's a whole lot that we can look at in terms of uh, you know one or two light. Uh, uh, portrait is at least for myself, I enjoy in person. Oh, yeah, actually, for work, I'm on Zoom or <laughs> every time I send meetings in all freaking day, it's just a bunch of heads that are talking that somebody's cat's meowing, somebody's coughing in the back, <laughs> but two people put them on freaking mute. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. These Zoom meetings have become. That's a question as well. Yeah. Um, when COVID first started, my understanding was that anyone that was an educator got a free account. Then mm -hmm. it was unlimited. You got as many people as you wanted on it. Do we not have any educators here in the group? Or is that not a possibility? I don't know if that's still po Tom looked looked into it. Okay. Okay. So it was uh, uh it's an educator. So like for instance, my I'm a teacher and the actual teachers um and the Oh yeah, Un unlimited number and unlimited length. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, I I think the in person meetings are 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 wonderful, but well, like uh uh the guy from raleigh he he can't make it up here for the meeting so you know doing that by zoom just seems to be yeah 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 the, the the one thing about zoom that is nice is for people like that who who just can't physically travel here we get a a much broader range of people that that we can hear and and get information from. But uh, the one thing we did talk about was uh, doing more uh, hands-on things where uh, like with the portraits, you know, uh, I don't know how many people here do portraits. Uh, yeah. Uh, Instead of macros and macros, mm -hmm. and that's fun. You want to keep that? You came here quickly. Yeah. Steve had like all kinds of Latin stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Last year, they were Yeah. Maybe something we could go out there and kind of maybe kind of give us a little class out there. I know it's their business. I know they probably don't want us to take over their business. Well, Skip does a, yeah, yeah. Skip does a complete class in uh, uh, off-camera flash, and they've got the whole studio with the lights. He has they're all Godox lights, so if you've got a Godox trigger, you can take that over there. And he basically sets up all the different lights, and you be and he he does you know the key light, the rim light, the background light, you know a, a second light off to the side. And he gives you the, you know, how you do this. And you can actually take the various photographs with each one of the lights or any combination of the lights. So you begin to see what the effects are. Uh, and I, I took his class, it was an all day class, uh, but it was, it was very good. I learned a lot because uh, I had never done, you know, off camera flash and I was, I have to say I was intimidated by it. Uh, but after having done that, uh, I took a, 
a portrait of a friend of Leah's. Uh, and uh, she liked it so much, she uses it as her Facebook profile photograph. She said, oh, this is one of the best pictures I've ever taken. So I felt pretty good about that. Uh, but I, but that kind of stuff, uh, you know, bring folks in to practice uh, like still lifes, uh, you know, macro photography. And a couple, couple of years ago, we did that one where we did, uh, we brought in light box. At some, I think Marie has one and Phyllis has one and John has one. We brought in the light boxes and we brought in all sorts of little knickknacks and we took photographs. And I think that's, you know, practice with that and lighting and all that other stuff. Uh, where you you're actually with people doing what you like to do is something that we ought to do as a, as a club i think uh, uh i don't know that's just the way i look at it we need to mix in speakers with actual doing and so uh you know like i'm i'm willing to work with and john i'm sure is willing to you know go through the end of the year try to put that together and then uh we'll try to put together a a slate of officers. So if, if you're willing to take over as treasurer, Don, that would be great. Uh, but we'll do the election in November. So that'll be our election month. We'll do that then. Um, Senator Baxter, did you, uh, we have a motion on the table. Oh, yeah, can we have a vote on, uh, all in favor of spending the money on Zoom? Okay, I think, Everybody except Kaylee voted for it. Okay. She, oh, she voted. Um, let's see. Right now, uh, we have about uh, 40 members on the meetup rolls. I think it's up to about 43 now, Tom. We had a couple. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and I, um, I think we do have to look at, uh, you know, Increasing the things we can do to increase membership. Uh, one of the things that I've tried to do is uh, I post more and more things on our Facebook page. So I make sure that our all of our contest photos uh, are posted along with the results. Uh, I post all the meetings that we're going to have because I'm, you know, when people are searching, they looking for photography groups, they look on Meetup, but they also look on Facebook. So I want to make sure that uh, if someone searches and finds our club, that it's not just a blank page. You know, we have to show that there are things going on that we're doing. So uh, my task to you, that Facebook page is open to everybody to, to become a, 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 you don't have to be a member of the club. You can just, you know, join the Facebook page. But if, if you do things and have photographs that you want to post, like, you know, I went, I went to, Langley for the air show, and here's, here's Thunderbird shots that I took. Please post those, do that kind of thing. Um, and the reason I think increasing the membership is worthwhile, because as Tom well knows, our, our meetup fees go up uh, once we're over 50 members on the rolls. So we need, you hate, you hate to be crass, but we need dues paying members uh, so that we can afford to go over that kind of limit without being, you know, losing our shirts. You don't want to take in new members who are paying dues and still end up or end up losing money. Uh, yes, it's the James River Camera Club. Yeah, yeah, just uh, yeah. Um, now, one of the things that. Uh, Phyllis suggested, and she sent me uh, uh, a sample of uh, have business cards. I mean, really nice business cards printed up uh, for the club that each member has a few. And uh, if you like Leah and I, uh, a couple months ago, we went out to Denby Pier and uh, we're taking sunset photos. And there were, there were like seven or eight photographers out there. I didn't recognize any of them. And I probably should have mentioned the club then, but I didn't. But uh, to have a business card to say, hey, if you're interested in uh, joining a photography club, you know, James Rivers meets right here, you know. And, you know, you think that doesn't work, but we were at uh, Hampton Roads Digital Photography uh, meeting on Tuesday night. 
talking to one of the guys, and he said he was out taking photographs. And he said, a guy walked up and he said, you, you look like you don't know what you're doing. And he said, well, actually, I don't. And he said, well, here. And he handed him a business card for the, for the other camera club. And he said, we meet on Tuesday night. Come and join us. And he's been there ever since. So it's, it's not, ex not expensive and it, and it can work. So I think we ought to figure out. Uh, I'll look into that if you guys want and see what kind of cost that is. But I'm thinking, you know, not we're not going to print them on platinum or anything, but but uh, reasonably nice business cards, professionally printed, I think would probably be a, a worthwhile expenditure. And then we'll give everybody some some cards. And if you're out, to, uh, you know, photographing something, you can pass out the cards. I get my cards uh, printed up at Vista Print, and they're but, fairly uh, good quality. And and I mean, I get like heavier start card stock. So mm -hmm. I, I pay a little bit more, but you could get nice ones from anywhere from like thirty to fifty dollars for like you know five hundred. Okay. All right. So Vista Print. Yeah, I've I've had really good luck with them. Okay. If and if anybody else has uh, something, just drop me a line. Um, the uh, let's see. Last thing that we talked about was. Uh, we don't see tom we don't pay the super high-end uh meetup fee correct where we get all the demographic information about the members like email addresses and all that other fun stuff no address in the file. right um my question to you guys because we have a fairly good good number of folks here and online um i i think we need to I don't want to say keep tabs on you guys, but but I think we need to collect a little bit of information on folks uh, that we can communicate outside of the meetup and Facebook, mainly just email. I think we need an email address for the members. Um, there, uh, you know, meetup is okay, but as the as somebody who's been using it for the last how how long have I had the since November. Since November, when I took over, is the thing. It sends it sends the messages out, but it's difficult to compose, and there's no granularity in who gets the messages uh, on the meetup. It's 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 a it's a blunt force instrument. What you can do is I to the It's not related to deposits. Yep. Basically, the way you join there is you have that information. Your name, your address, phone number, your email, your interests in whatever hobby that particular club is for. And then in this club, they actually assign you a number. And for various things that they do in the in person meetings, you have a, a band with your number on the other side and your name on one side. Hmm. And you use that for purposes of bidding or doing different things at that club. That's an easy way to collect all that kind of information without broadcast the work. Yes. And then just give the officers access to it in the cell spreadsheet with all the information if you want to go email some or email address. I'll look at your all club. Yep. But uh, I didn't want to just say we're going to do that without checking to make sure and, and also to find out what your couple things like what camera you shoot. Because uh, you uh, sometimes I'm going to be teaching a class at. Uh, uh, Christopher Newport's lifelong learning on uh, uh, getting to know your your digital camera. This is for seniors, senior citizens who have finally, who got a digital camera and don't know what the hell to do with it. Uh, but the problem is, uh, I, like I, I'm a Sony shooter. Uh, the only Canon I have is I have an old Canon PowerShot G12. But I'm willing to bet the menu system is the same, <laughs> the same as the, the current ones. But if I would have a question like, uh, "Hey, how does Canon do this?" or "How does Nikon, you know, do this?" it would be nice to have, you know, a list of the club members. You know, who shoots Nikon? Who can I ask how this works? Uh, and also, what do you like to to photograph? You know, because uh, everybody has specialties, like John has has specialties, and uh, 
and and Chan is train squirrels. <laughs> Pardon? There you go. Flowers is flowers is flowers are good. Uh, I took some flower shots today. They came out pretty well, as a matter of fact. Uh, and uh, and so, uh, is there any problem with us collecting that information? Uh, we good? There's forty people. Or I think right now about twenty. Is that right, Tom? Marie, how many dues paying members do we have? Is it? It's about forty or about twenty, isn't it? We're getting, we're getting ready to get to a threshold where we're going to start paying more. Yep. We got the people that are there that are paying dues that are just sucking up the spots. So yeah. Pretty well. Yeah. It's all down with the food spots. Yeah. That's good. As soon as we got the food, yeah, start chopping them off the beans. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if you know if we're gonna go over that, we need to have you know uh the, the four the four when we go over forty or go over fifty, we need to have like forty nine dues paying members. Yeah. Yeah. Forty three on meetup and I don't know I don't know how many members on Facebook. I mean I, I I don't care how many members we have on Facebook because it doesn't cost us anything and it's advertising. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no go through contacting everybody and pulling that. Yep. Yep. But you know, but but I don't I don't think there's a problem with us. I mean, we, we have to increase the membership, and I think uh, like I said the Facebook page where, and I think I don't know where some of these requests are coming from. Uh, but I'm I'm willing to bet that's uh, fair uh, that some of them are coming from uh, from the Facebook page because it says on there. Yeah, well, and and you know the thing is, if if we have somebody who if we have somebody that lives in California that that wants to pay the dues because they used to live here, and they want to keep in touch and or, or just and it's. 25 is not, is not too much for them to spend. And they say, hey, maybe when I come back, I'll go to a meeting, whatever. Yeah, as long as they're paying the dues, I don't really care where they live. Uh, but we don't want to have the meetup rolls clogged with people that cost us money and, and don't generate any. Oh, I got one request from some guy. Don't, don't make a man. We're in this James River. We're, we're in California. Yes. In this James River. Yeah. Did you release? Yeah, talk. Yeah. Right now we're paying about fifty dollars a month for up to fifty members. Fifty twenty a month once you go over. So it's not a big that would be a sixty dollar change to go over fifty, but you get fifty members great. Yep. But right now it's still need to have more than that. Yep. If they want information their Facebook page that's free. Exactly. But uh, I'll have the cards made up. And then, like I say, if you do things uh, of interest uh, that, that you think would be, and it doesn't have to be fabulous, it's, uh, it's volume. You know, volume is what, what sells. The, when someone looks at that Facebook page, they have to see that uh, they're looking at, at a club that has active members that do things and go places and take pictures. So if the bear wanders, if there if a bear shits in the woods, <laughs> we want a photograph of it. <laughs> exactly. So uh, so I think that's important. It's not the fried chicken out there. 
Yeah, yeah. It's yep. like bird season. Every 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 place they hit, they stop the bird season. Um, the other thing is, if I put the current bylaws, the current photo contest rules, the themes for this year and next year's photo contest are all on the Facebook page. And uh, uh, so you can download them there. They're PDFs. You can download them. <clears throat> I, I, I think I put them on the meetup page, too. Did I, did I, Leah, did I put those on the meetup page? I don't know that you did. You can't put them on video because you have to Okay. Okay. Well, they're, I tried. yeah, they're on, if they are on our Facebook page. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I can't put it right here. Facebook page is just coming up for James Rickard. And is that on Meetup or Facebook? I just tried to join, so I'm joining this one. But is that an old one? That's that's an old one. I don't know. I don't know what that. Means. Oh, so What's I, that? When I called up, this is what I get. Yeah, that's. Yeah, this is the one that he, he decided to buy. One other question that I've got. There is a. There's a Flickr page. Uh, Kemp, I'm going to bring up uh, my web browser. Hang on. The last statement that I got right here, we have um, $1,782.06 at the account. Okay. It's not money then, right? I'm sorry, it's a lot of money. I need to go on vacation on again. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay, I'm gonna share share my screen. This is the uh this is Flickr for those of you that are familiar with it. Yes, but But uh, where is it? Why is it not finding it? There we go. They show up on people, but it says James River Camera Club. Now, I don't know whether this is our club or the club in California, there's a club in California. Maybe there's a James River Camera Club in California. Although, although this one, this one has pictures that are taken in Hampton Room. That's our club? Oh, I don't recognize any of that. Yeah, okay. this is old. Did we? So that's with our, that's our Flickr page? Okay. Uh, who who's the owner of it? Does anybody know? There's two of them. One of them has five followers, and then the other one has like it says eight eight members, and there's no photographs from from 2011. So does that, is, my, I guess my question is, does anybody know, you say we we formed those, one of those pages? Do we know who is who has the email address or the password for it? Mm, do you know who? Uh, let me check. There were 46 photographs of the hot the movie The Hobbit. Yes. Okay. And yeah, this was 2012. So I guess uh, does anybody have a uh, 
nobody has an idea who the owner of it is or, or what the email or password is. Phyllis, yeah, she has records for all for a lot of stuff. I'll check with Phyllis. Otherwise, I will try and get with uh, uh, the the folks at Flickr and and see who the owner is and and try to get the password for it so we can use it. Because that's another excellent uh, place for advertising your club and 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 sharing photographs. And that's another thing we we may eventually. Uh, and, you know, if we don't call the photographs, you have to, to spend money on it. But you get a, a whole slew of photos for free on, on Flickr. Okay. Yes, Flickr is Flickr's owned by Smug Mug now. Well, there's, there's three accounts and there's three accounts. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they work. You, they have free accounts where you have a limited number of photographs, but it's it's a several thousand, I think, is what you can post. One one thousand. One thousand. Kemp, do you know who uh, started that uh, Flickr page? No, I do not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. They're all 20, they're all, there's only, there's 40, 45 photos, uh, all from the same event, uh, probably in 2012. Yeah, there hasn't been, a, there hasn't been any activity on it since then. Yeah. Oh, he's, Don's got it right. Well, there's a James River camera club with eight members. And no photos. And the Hampton Roads, at least, yeah, Hampton Roads, Eastern Virginia. There's, there's two of them, and both of them are us. But you can't see who the members are. <laughs> okay, but we'll, well, let's, let's try to. Yeah. We'll we'll try to get a handle on uh, who set that up. I bet uh, Phyllis has records on it. Okay. Um, so, does anybody else have any anything they'd like to add or 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 put into the to the mix about where we are or what we should do? Or have I? I think something would be very interesting to do, and I thought about this before, is to go to the schools that are photography classes mm -hmm. we'll be letting the people in those classes know that we exist to try to get some younger people in the group to draw interest I thought about doing it before but I left okay well, I have I have contacts at CNU, so we can. And like I say, we're going to have the uh, the student from CNU in to speak, and he'll be here in September. He's excited. <laughs> yeah. Well, and maybe we can uh, can leverage, uh, uh, you know, that th that sort of thing with uh, getting a chance to to go to CNU and, uh, you know, have a tour of the photography department and and maybe get some uh, speakers out of out of there too. Yeah, that could be interesting. Um, how about uh, the other the uh, final thing uh, that I had was. Uh, uh, besides meeting events, uh, are you guys up for uh, events that aren't at a meeting, like uh, more photo walks and more, you know, event like I hear Smithfield's a great place to, to do wildlife uh, photography. <laughs> well, I'm still waiting for that sign. Like I said, there's, there's, there's a lot of history in Smithfield. Yep. And there's, uh, they, do, they do tours of the Great work. There's great work there from 1700s. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's people that know a lot of stuff and they 
you get some sort of stages between all the places we have a lot of places around there. You know, I kind of remember I think we went three or four weeks ago to just to the little farmer's market. I was really shocked because I don't know. I was really shocked at how many people were there. Mm -hmm. They were closing early that day. When the yeah. apparently the place gets packed. Yeah. Yeah, that we subscribe to that uh what's the name of that email the, the triangle, I think it is. Uh, for those of you, it's a woman who uh, she sends out uh, weekly, maybe more often emails that she does interviews, but she collects information about events that are going on. Uh, and uh, I think that's where we saw the military, yeah. military through the ages. So I will, uh, you know, there, there's a I, uh, on meetup. There's now a, a system where you can put in, uh, it's called meet and greet, rather than a formal meeting, just a, hey, this event is happening. We can post those for like informal, like if you're not aware, there's a, uh, like the Daffodil Festival in Gloucester or whatever, uh, that, you know, as much as we enjoy getting out and doing things, we can't go to every one of those, but it'd be nice to just post and say, if you're interested, this is an event that, that's happening. Because uh, a lot of times, you you know, you see it later and you go, oh my God, if I'd have known that, I'd have gone, you know. Uh, so we can post those to make sure that the members of the club are aware. And uh, and she says, I have to do things uh, now that I'm retired. <laughs> so that's why I'm standing here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we'll post those and, and we'll go to, to those things as well. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Say they have an events calendar and everything goes down on water on the news they post. Yeah. And and other members are free to post uh, the same sort of things. So uh uh the one thing I will say uh in terms of uh the club, in terms of the management of it, I think if you're just gonna post information either on Facebook or even on Meetup, you know, on that, you know, hey, there's a event going on. You know we're going to be there, but for the formal club events, that has to go through either John or me. Uh, we don't want you know uh, to invite somebody to for me to invite somebody to an event, and uh, and Steve to invite somebody to an event, and it's the same day, you know, and it's a different person. Why would you it don't know exactly, but that's but that's it, uh, because anybody any member can post an event. Uh, so we just have to be careful that we we make sure we run it through either John or me uh, to make sure that we don't have a, a conflict, you know, because if I if I'm uh, negotiating with somebody about what date they want to speak and they say I, I can only make it on X date and then somebody else would have well, scheduled something. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. So I, I will uh, um, see what's going to be the best way to collect the, I guess maybe if I just put, well, you, if I can post my email address on in meetup and just have the members sort of fill out the info and send it in and then, then we can go from there. Does that work? Okay. Well, <laughs> well, they'll just sit reply to me. That would be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's an idea. Yeah. What I'm talking about is his name would be that he's not a doctor. Yeah. Well, then, when the other thing that that happens is, yeah, yeah. But you sign up. You when you sign up for Meetup, 
you have to put an email address in there. And, you know, some of us have meetup accounts from decades ago. And there's email addresses in there that I haven't looked at. <laughs> you know, I closed them out and, and meetup is still sending them emails. So uh, you have to make sure that's cleared up. So it'd be nice to have a, a good email. Okay. Uh, anybody else have any last minute things? I'll let everybody get home early tonight. Anybody have anything uh, new? Anything? Anybody online have anything they need to add? I I sent a uh, a message to the James River Camera Club Flickr account. Ah. See if somebody responds to that message. That, okay. Uh, Good thinking. The all the cam all those photos were taken majority of them with a canon 5d mark ii oh, and some taken it's, with dawn. It's, it's dawn it's dawn He's, he remembers taking the photographs okay and some were taken with an olympus an yeah. olympus yes yeah a couple folks use olympus over here so okay well, we'll we'll try to track it down, you know, because uh, Flickr is a good good resource for us. And uh, anybody else have any uh, any thoughts? Anybody want to buy me a beer after? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kayla, it's just your chance, you know. Okay. Uh, no. No, we don't want that. Uh, move to adjourn. Yeah. Okay. All in favor say hasta luego. Arriba derchi. Al feeder saying. Okay, Kemp, thank you very much for hosting. <laughs>